like I'd imagine just about every filmmaker in the world, I'll never entirely be able to get my head around film censorship. It's not just the point of uh, adults making decisions for other adults as to what those people can watch, it's more the methodology of it and the way that uh, the rating system can break down into tiny little points, none of which particularly make much sense when you look at them closely enough. Um, my first movie, Trash House, the, the film got a 15, uh, the trailer for the film got an 18, despite having no footage in it that's not in the movie. The DVD release uh, got an 18, with a tiny little thing on the back which says uh, overall category raised to 18 due to additional material being classified a higher certificate than the main feature, 15. That additional material being the trailer for the main feature, which has the same material in it. So there's always going to be quirks in the system. I understand, and I, I do understand the idea about context, the idea that in a trailer you might have a succession of unpleasant images one after the other, which if they're spread out throughout an entire feature it could be a 15, but in the trailer, because it's boom, 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 makes it an 18, and I understand that. The issue at the moment uh, that's come up recently is about the King's Speech at the cinema. Initially the British Board of Film Classification gave the King's Speech a 15 uh, and then they actually overturned that and gave it a 12A which I think is far more reasonable and I think that shows an intelligence at work which certainly doesn't seem to be in the methodology of the MPAA, the American equivalent of the BBFC, who uh, have given the King's Speech an R which is their highest mainstream rating. They have a, a higher one called the NC-17 but due to uh, very various hang-ups, um, the mainstream media won't carry adverts for it, certain cinema chains won't show it, so, so basically the R is the highest mainstream rating in the States, if you're already from the States I apologise for stating the bleeding obvious but I'm basically talking to Brits here. Um, the King's Speech in the States has the same rating, the R rating, same rating as Saw 3D. But the idea that uh, it, you are actually advising the public correctly by giving the King's Speech the same rating as Saw 3D is, is crazy. I've also been massively disturbed by things like uh, Blue Valentine um, initially getting an NC-17 and then that having to go to appeal, which was for, I believe, I haven't seen the movie, but I believe that was for depictions of happy consensual sex, which certainly the MPAA really don't like. They seem a lot happier with rape and murder than they do with consensual sex, which again I just find terrifying. I find that um, <laughs> it's the workings of a psychopath, basically, isn't it? I'm always intrigued. Every time one of my flicks goes through, though, I'm always intrigued what it's going to get. I suspect, I suspect, Bordello Death Tales will get an 18, would be my guess. Um, I'd be very surprised if it didn't. But anyway, who can tell? We'll find out soon. Good thousand.